Gold has played well when he's gotten the chance as Melvin Tarley now takes an effort from distance and Cronin tested. Fine save there. Keel searching for foot. He was pushed off and it's poor and it's just only crossbar. And I think Warren did get a touch. He did. It's a corner. It was a cross, I think, for poor. It's Suzuki a chance. Oh, shit. That is what you want to see from Taka too, where he makes the move, he gets space. And John Spencer, who today was named head coach for next year, joining us late in the first half. Poor, a good pass, DK, can he get back to it? He can, and it's Warren making a good stop down to his left. Lightning quick attack there. Unfortunate that was a loss for the Timbers, but in Marceline from, on fire. In from Lawson falls now, Gonsman off. And it's on side, the flag has stayed down, and it's Eli Allen. Doing what he did back in June, putting the NSC Minnesota Stars into an early lead. Boy, it seemed like they're... Gavin's still the head coach of this team. Um, DK trying to charge through on his left, and the Timbers have found their equalizer. The celebration there from DK. Exactly what Portland needed just before halftime. Well, how many times have we seen it this year, John, where the Timbers give up that late goal either before halftime or toward the end of the match? Maybe this is a sign of things to come. As Greg DK chests it down to his left. I mean, that was clinical. Just using size and strength there as much as anything else to hold off the defender was Poor, who laid it down to him on the head. That's just about everything this Minnesota team does. Good header forward by Poor. Here's Lopez. DK a late trailer. Lopez wants it himself, and it didn't miss by much. It really didn't from Rodrigo Lopez. What a fan. Poor trying to turn and run with Savage. DK there as well. Let the play go, referee. He's done so, and it's Poor behind, and he's taken down, and surely it has to be a penalty kick, and it is for the Portland Timbers on the hour. It's Poor, and it is. 2-1 for the Timbers. Low marks for the celebration, Andy, but full marks for the penalty. A dozen goals for Ryan Poor. None bigger than that one. Pulling Portland back. They were down a goal. Now they lead by a goal. And we see the vintage... Trademark sort of stutter step. You don't see it there because we don't see his feet. But oh, he no looked him as well, though, Andy. I mean, he just buries it. I mean, Cronin, or Warren, rather, frozen. I mean, what sort of shot is he going to save here? <laughs> Unless it just hits him. Get him some quality minutes here down the stretch. That's going to be a yellow card for Ian Joy. Really hard tech. Oh, he's been sent off. Ian Joy has been sent off. And I was going to say it was especially a harsh tackle and not really needed in that situation as Joy comes flying in, and suddenly it's completely gone on its head this game. The Timbers, moments after going in the lead, have been reduced to 10 men. It's Friedland again pushing forward. Loose in the box. Overhead for Broccolello, and it's well saved by Cronin. Simone Broccolello, a great individual effort there to get that shot off and get it on frame in. Great reflex stop, too, by Steve Cronin. Had to just throw his arms up. Let's take another look at this. Ball bounces. Keel just a step late to it, and Cronin with the fingertips. That's reactions. Yeah, able to keep that out of the net. He's not seeing that. Second corner of the night for Minnesota. It's a good ball again, and that may be an own goal. I'm not sure who it came off last, but it's Minnesota celebrating the equalizer in the 73rd minute. Crushing, absolutely crushing blow for the Portland Timbers after what they've been through tonight to climb all the way back. Broccolello claiming, and I want to see that replay, though, because there were a couple heads. I'm not so certain that's not off a Timbers player, at least from the angle we've seen. No, that, that one looks good. It is Simone Broccolello. To be able to settle the ball. And Yadier Reyes blows the match to an end. And once again, and too many times has been the case this year, Andy, a tale of what might have been for the Portland Timbers. 2-1 up after 63 minutes and Ryan Poor's penalty kick.
Well, really, a microcosm of the season here tonight in this 2-2 match.